If you click this video, I assume you have trouble running LED 2014 version in your Windows 10 PC. Unfortunately, LED 2014 version does not support Windows 10, but there is a way around this problem. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create a Windows XP virtual machine in your Windows 10 OS, then install LED 2014 in that virtual machine. Finally, we are going to discuss how to transfer the effect files from the virtual machine to the SD card of your controller. I'm going to install VMware. I'm going to use VMware Workstation 15.5. Uh, download links are in the description. Double click on the setup. It will ask for your permission. Click on yes. Click on next. Read and accept the user agreement. Select the location for the installation and click on next all right i'm going to uncheck this thing uh, next next and finally install click on finish and once installed double click on the vmware workstation desktop icon i'm going to create a virtual machine go to file and select new virtual machine all right i'm going to use this option typical and click on next all right if you have a, a windows xp disk uh, you should be able to select this option and use that uh, disk as your source of the setup in this case i don't have a cd drive or dvd rom so i had to select bootable image and i'm going to select the image and then click on next you need to input the product key of the windows xp uh, click on next in the location you can select the location where you want the virtual machine to be uh, placed select the location and click on ok and select next this is where you allow the memory of your hard disk maximum uh, disk space that can be used by the virtual machine i'm going to leave the default value 40 gb i'm going to check this store virtual disk as a single file click on next uh, i'm going to click on customize hardware and you can see the default allocation of memory is 512 i'm going to allow more memory for this uh, virtual machine processes i'm going to increase since i need the speed i'm going to increase the number of processors and number of calls for this virtual machine it depends on how much you have in the system network i'm going to disable the network um let's be in the display tab i'm going to increase the amount of uh, memory allocation for the graphics memory click on close i'm going to click on finish it will start the setup windows xp setup automatically boot to the cd or the image you don't have to do anything it will automatically go through the setup and install You will see this VM tool set up. Wait until it finished. The system will reboot. Alright, as you can see, we are in Windows XP. For now, I'm going to shut down the XP virtual machine. You can simply go to here and to click on turn off computer or you can right click here and select power and click shut down guest or right here and click here and select shut down guest I'm going to click here and select turn off i'm going to close vmware and let's see how we get back to windows xp double click on the vmware workstation right click here you can see we have 
Windows XP Professional click here and you can select power on this virtual machine or click the play button here it will boot up to Windows XP uh, the next thing we have to do is to install LED Edit 2014 version I have the setup folder here I'm going to right click back in my Windows 10 desktop I'm going to right click and select copy and go back to the virtual machine and I'm going to right click on the desktop and select paste on the Windows XP virtual machine desktop now you can see we have LED Edit set up folder in Windows XP virtual machine all right I'm going to double click on setup Okay, click on next uh, I'm going to use the default location click on next next finish the installation by clicking on close now we have installed LED Edit 2014 in the virtual machine double click on the LED Edit desktop icon on the virtual machine and click OK now you can do anything Let's create a simple project. If you want to get the effect files from your Windows 10, uh, follow the same process copy the uh, effect files in this case effect folder copy that folder and paste it on your virtual machine like that it is simple all right once copied click on open go back to LED edit and select video effect and open video select desktop and select the folder click on open As you can see, this is the animation we have just recorded. Click on stop and I'm going to export the FFR. All right, it's the default values. Uh, click on OK and select the desktop because it is easy. All right, once you exported your effects file to the desktop, you can simply, you can see this is the effect file we just created click uh, right click and select copy and paste it on the Windows 10 desktop now you can put it to your SD card once done uh, programming you can shut down the program and click on turn off your computer to turn off the virtual machine the files we copied or the projects we created will remain on the virtual machine so you don't have to worry about it all right i'm going to close the virtual machine workstation this is the only way around to make led edit 2014 or previous versions of led edit works in your windows 10 or windows 11 so try it if you want led edit 2014 for your project all right thank you for watching See you in another tutorial. I'm Sal for learnit step by step.com.